All right, next we're going to review pulmonary artery anatomy. We can see that the right ventricular outflow tract is met by the pulmonic valve, which then leads right into the main pulmonary artery. We can see that the main pulmonary artery wraps partially around the ascending aorta and the aortic root, and then it bifurcates into your right and left pulmonary arteries. Now the right pulmonary artery we can see is anterior to your carina and main stem bronchi, and the left pulmonary artery wraps around that left main stem bronchus, and this is why on the lateral radiograph, the right pulmonary artery is seen as an oval, which is anterior to your air column of your trachea and crina, and the left pulmonary artery gives you a little candy cane hook around the left main stem bronchus. Next, we'll review uh, the pulmonary artery anatomy of the segments of each of the lungs. And just keep in mind that it's important on studies looking for a cardiac cause of chest pain that you carefully scrutinize the pulmonary arteries to make sure that you're not missing a pulmonary embolism, which can be an important mimicker of chest pain from a coronary source. This is probably one of uh, the more common um, incidental findings that you see in a patient who you've been asked to look at their coronary arteries for that has a real cause of chest pain.